Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Uh, we are going to look at, we've been looking at God's Word and today we're going to look at uh, God's blueprint and how God considers the, the people of God, we, His people, as a house. And not just any house, but a house of prayer and worship. Um, now, the, this God's blueprint is interesting like any other blueprint. It gives us information, it gives us the possibilities, it gives us uh, what we can develop or what are the changes that we can do to develop into that image, uh, into that picture. And uh, we see that God has given this in His Word. So we look into the Word of God and we, when we look into the Old Testament, we see uh, in the Old Testament that God desired a people who would be His royal priesthood. Exodus 19 and verse 6, we read, uh, And you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which you shall speak to the children of Israel. So God's desire is that his people would be a holy priesthood. Um, priests, of course, uh, you know, in, uh, involved in spiritual matters and spiritual uh, ministry. In the New Testament, the Lord Jesus quoted from the book of Isaiah when he ex ex exclaimed, when he saw the things that were happening and he, he exclaimed, he said, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. He saw those things that were happening in the temple and he was very upset and he exclaimed this and he, he quoted from the book of Isaiah. So, uh, since this is God's will, since this is God's desire, we see that prayer, worship, intercession is not to be uh, put away for maybe a day of the week or when we gather together. But it is to be something that is to be found that every believer should walk in um, every day or uh, as frequently as possible. Um, that worship and prayer and intercession and uh, just being in the presence of God um, needs to be uh, something that each one of us as believers are involved in, are engaged in. So first of all, we need to understand the importance of worship and prayer. We need to understand that it is, it is not a filler or it is not an act before the main act, but it's really something that is close to God's heart because that's His desire. Secondly, we need to have a lifestyle of worship and prayer and uh, powerful times of strategic prayer and intercession. So this becomes part of our life. And also we can schedule regular times of corporate prayer and worship. So we see that this is God's desire. This is God's heart for his people. So what are we waiting for? You know, we can take that step. We can take small steps into, um, and these small steps can keep growing as we intentionally see and we intentionally make up our mind and make a commitment to grow into being houses of prayer and worship. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that this is our desire, that even as you indwell us, Lord, as individuals and collectively as your people, that you desire for us um, to be a house of prayer and worship. And Lord, we pray that um, that we will move into this, we will progress into this um, blueprint that you have for us, God. And Lord, we pray that if these things are non-existent in our lives right now, um, Lord, we pray that we will be moved to action, God. That even as we stirred in our spirit to do so, God, that we would uh, step into times of uh, extended times of prayer and worship individually, personally as believers, and also collectively as a church. We thank you. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.